Hello everyone, today we'll delve into Morton Effect. Morton Effect is thermally induced rotor instability. Most commonly appear in rotating shaft with large overhung masses and supported by fluid filling bearings. The figure on the bottom shows the 1x vibration amplitude versus time. The machine speed is maintained at a constant level until the amplitude exceeds 7 mils peak to peak, at which point a shutdown is triggered. If you notice a sudden rise in synchronous vibration along with the consistent change in phase and there is no sign of rubbing, it's probably due to the Morton effect. Please be aware that it required over two and a half hours of machine operation for significant amplitude motion to appear. So why is this happening? Let's look into this schematics. Initially, there is no temperature difference across the journal circumference of the rotor. Because of mechanical imbalance or residual rotor deflection, the high spot, which typically exhibits the lowest film thickness during the one orbit, typically undergoes greater oil viscosity shearing compared to other positions around the journal circumference. This non-uniform viscous shearing results in uneven heating of the rotor, leading to temperature variations across the journal circumference. The temperature difference within the rotor induces thermal bowing in the shaft. In cases where the shaft includes significant overhung reel or coupling, this thermal bowing can result in substantial imbalance. This illustrates thermal bowing, which can lead to substantial deflection at the overhung location. Going back to 1x vibration versus time plot here on the right, the Morton effect can cause substantial increasing in the 1x vibration amplitude due to thermal bowing while the machine rotating speed held constant. Here is another graph illustrating how the Morton effect results in a divergent spiral vibration. It has been observed that as high-speed overhung rotor design become more prevalent, occurrence of Morton effect has also increased. The Morton effect is generally presented in all journal bearings to some degree, but usually does not affect rotors without a significant overhung masses. So how can we solve this problem? Adjusting bearing oil inlet temperature or flow rate can alleviate thermal bowing. Also, you could redesign the shaft to change the critical speed. And using a thermal barrier sleeve on a shaft within the bearing can reduce the thermal bowing. Alright, this is all I have for you today. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next videos.